Welcome to the Profile Tree YouTube channel. In today's video, we're going to set up a Facebook Pixel. In order to do this, please make sure you have set up a Business Manager account in Facebook. To do that, simply type in business.facebook.com and set up an account. Now, what is a Facebook Pixel? The Facebook Pixel is an analytics tool that allows you to measure the effectiveness of your advertising by understanding the actions people take on your website. The Facebook Pixel is a piece of code that you'll insert to the back end of your website and it will allow you to track movement on your website and the actions that people take. You can then use this information to retarget potential customers or people who have shown interest in your website by clicking on your ad. If you head over to business.facebook.com into your ads account, the easiest way to do this is to go into any sort of campaign Simply click edit and at ad level, if you scroll down, it will say in the tracking window next to website events setup. When you click this, it will take you through the process of setting up your Facebook pixel. In this window, you need to give your pixel a name. The default name would use your ads account plus pixel. You can change the pixel name to whatever you want. You then have the option to put your website URL in the box below. You can simply copy the URL and paste it below and click continue. Now Facebook will ask, are you ready to set up your pixel? If you say continue what I was doing, the pixel will be added to the ads manager, but it will not be active and you will need to go back and finish the setup at a later time. If you are ready to set it up now, you can click set up the pixel now. Now, because we have put in the URL, for our website, Facebook has realized that we're using a WordPress account and it's giving us the option to set up with WordPress. You can install the code manually. If you have the option, click on set up using WordPress. Now you'll have five different windows to go through in order to set up your pixel completely. Follow the prompts on each window. And once you have finished, your pixel will be set up correctly. In the first step, we'll need to install the plugin. A zip folder will automatically download when you land on this page. If it does not, however, download, you can simply copy this and paste it into Google. And the first option that comes up would be from the WordPress website, which you can then download and use to install. So now that we're on this page, let's head over to the back end of our website and install the plugin. On the back end of your WordPress website, go down to plugins and then go add new. Now you need to upload the plugin. Choose the file, official Facebook pixel, and install now. You will then need to click activate plugin. Now that your plugin has activated, you can scroll down to find it, Facebook for WordPress, and go to settings. If we go back to ads manager, we can then click next. And now Facebook is telling us to click on get started. So if we go back to the WordPress and click on get started, it's going to ask you to choose the correct Facebook account. If you are currently logged into Facebook, it should come up here and you can click continue as. You then need to give permissions. So click continue. You then need to select the correct account. You then need to select the correct ads account, which in this case is profile tree demo. You then need to select the correct pixel. So the one that we've just set up is the profile tree demo account pixel. Click continue. Once you're happy with that, you can click continue again. Then what is WordPress app allowed to do? You can give it permission. So in this case, click yes and click next, and it will link WordPress app to Facebook. You're all set. And now the connection is pending on the back end of your website. You need to click if you trust this website and click confirm. Your business is connected to Facebook. Go back to ads manager and click next. We now need to verify the connection. So paste the website URL in here and send test traffic. If you go back to your ads manager, you'll see it is now active. Your next step is to set up events. You can use the event setup tool to add standard events and parameters without the need to code. This is the easiest option to install events. An event is basically an action someone has taken on your website. So whether it's a purchase, add to cart, or begin checkout. You can simply paste your website in here and open your website 
And now we'll be able to set events in the website. The Facebook event setup tool populates on the side. And what you need to do is go to the page where an event would occur that you would like to track. In this case, we want people to fill in a contact us form. So if I click on say hello, it will go to the contact us page. I then scroll down and click track new button on the event setup tool. As you can see, every single button on the page that is clickable has been highlighted. In this case, we want to track people that click on the submit button. So click on submit and then select the event type. So in this case, it would be a lead. We have the option to give a value to this. Considering that it is just a lead, we don't need to give this a value. But if you do want to give it a value, choose value. And then you would have to choose an amount on the page. So if this was a purchase, for example, you would go all the way to before the payment option and you would select the price that it's going to cost. That way, Facebook knows to look at that price every time someone completes the purchase. Once you have selected your option, you can click confirm. And now you have created an event. You can do this again for any button or any URL on your website. Once you're happy with the events that you've set up, you can click on finish setup and confirm that everything you've added is correct. You can then click on finish. There, you have now set up your events. Click next and your setup is complete. You can verify your events in Events Manager, or you can carry on and create an ad. If we click Finish, your pixel is now set up at the back end of your website, and you have created specific events that you want to track. So if you need to edit an ad, and you want to apply the pixel, you'll notice that it still needs to be set up. In order to apply the pixel to this specific account, go over to the three lines and go to Business Settings. On this page, you'll scroll down to Data Sources, and you'll click on Pixels. You will then scroll down and find the pixel you're searching for, and here's where you'll need to assign the specific pages. So if you add people, here you can add all the people that are allowed to use this pixel, which means you can share it with anyone that has Facebook Ads Manager. You then need to give access to the pixel and assign. You can then go over to Connected Assets. We can assign an ad account, like the Profile Tree Demo account, and add it. And as you can see, it's been added. So now, if we go back into the Demo account, and we select a campaign and go down to ads level. When you scroll down all the way to the bottom in tracking, you'll now be able to click website event and your pixel was there. Now all you need to do is set up the rest of your ad and you'll be able to track any action taken on your website resulting from this ad. And that brings us to the end of this video. If you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, please leave a like below to let us know or leave a comment if there's something else you want us to cover in a future video. Make sure to subscribe to not miss any future videos that we upload. And until the next one, thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.